Hey everybody, welcome to my second review for today. Um, I have time, so I'm going to do two, because I don't know when I'm going to get time to do some more again. So today, I'm going to actually re-review um, MCSoft Anti-Malware, but this is a new version, it's version 5.1. So they made some changes to it. Personally, I'm not sure what they are. I didn't look them up, and I don't know MCSoft that well to be able just to tell you by looking at it. But that's okay. We can still see how it works and how the security is doing. So let's do my usual quick little... Let's check out the uh, memory usage just for the hay of it. Okay, so we have, let's see what we got here. We got one service there, another one there. And looks like that's it, really. Um, fairly high memory usage, 44 megs. It's pretty high. I did feel the computer is running a little bit slower than normal but it's not as bad as it used to be when they uh, with their older versions so they're improving slowly but surely with each version so this is the first one Looks like it doesn't shut off um, Windows Defender. Looks like it's still running. That's kind of interesting. Okay, this is a Rogue. Okay, here we go, finally it popped up. Okay, this is the uh, behavior blocker. Possible malicious behavior. Trying to modify an auto run entry, so we'll block that. Okay, that one looks like that one got blocked. That bot. Okay, it looks like we can't even get to that one, to this website, so I'm not even going to try that one because I know it won't let me, so I'll block those two. Okay, it looks like uh, this program is trying to modify group policy settings, so behavior blocker popped up. We will block that. And this EPG is trying to modify another process, though it's not giving you any suggestions. It's kind of useless. We'll just block it anyway. Now I'm going to skip this one because it's part of that same website. We know I blocked it before. So we'll jump to the next one in line. Okay, that's a cube face and that got blocked. Okay, that one got blocked also. Okay, this one is a uh, some kind of rootkit. 
At least it thinks it is. Let's see here. So we'll definitely block that one. That's maybe where the modified uh, MBR showed up on the other video because we're using the same links. Okay, and that one got blocked. Zbot. Oh wait, I didn't even notice that those are identical. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to skip this result browser because I'm not sure if that's 100% malware or not. And it looks like uh, this one got blocked. Yep, you can see it blocked access to the web page. Okay, so most of them got caught by signatures. A couple of them supposedly got caught by the behavior blocker. At least that's what we told it to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run CCleaner and then because the infections aren't really bad I'm just going to run malware bytes just to kind of give us an idea if there's anything that snuck through and then I'll make the decision to go on from there if I need to scan with something else. So let me pause the video and I'll be back with the results from malware bytes. Okay so <clears throat> did a scan with uh, malware bytes and also used Hitmap Pro. But Malwarebytes found five things. So let's see what it found here. Found one, two, found one registry key change and three files associated with rogue antivirus. So apparently what's happening is because uh, MCSoft anti-malware has no virtualization technology, any of the files that aren't blocked by the signatures are on the computer but they can't do anything. You just, I guess you have to wait for the signatures to catch up and then whenever you get an automatic scan or whenever you do a scan it'll find them and delete them. And I also did a scan with Hitman Pro here and let's see which ones I found that were in conjunction. So found this one, found that one, didn't find that this one doesn't look like uh, security helper was found by malwarebytes and malwarebytes didn't find this EPG but it's a suspicious file and we know it's malware so it's uh, really interesting so I'm gonna close this stuff up and let's see nothing was running in memory so I might as well just because I'm here and I have the time. I'm going to throw a cleaning essential scan at it, and this one's going to take a while. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so um, cleaning essentials finished scanning, and it didn't find anything. So, final verdict on the new uh, MCSoft anti malware it did good. Um, signatures are good like they've always had and their behavior blocker seems to be working better and better and you know we do we there were some files left over but that's because it doesn't have any virtualizing technology a behavior blocker blocks the file but it doesn't necessarily delete it i think i don't remember what it looked like but i think i had an option to delete maybe or quarantine that's all right um stock it just at the stock setting is the little dot is on block and that's I didn't change any of that I just let it block so that's it hope you enjoyed uh, this quick little review I'm actually not gonna upload the videos right now I'm gonna upload them later I'm gonna go and do some shopping so I'll talk to everybody later take care and have a good day